ini mulai udah muncar muncar pertunjukannya itu pertunjukan buat ini meningkatkan adrenalin seru ya kayaknya yang paling depan mati pasti kompat banget ya imajinasi yang terlalu tinggi itu of the night. My name is Zian. How are all of you feeling tonight? Everybody good? Good. Wonderful. Alright, the show will begin in just a few short moments. But then before that, I've got a few messages to share. We're going to start with the first one. And I need you to take a look around the amphitheater. You'll notice three always. One, two, and three. Once the show starts, we would like to request for you to remain seated. This is because during the show, we will be having animals coming out from all, all over, over the amphitheater. The amphitheater. Mm -hmm. So please remain seated until I say thank you and good night. Can we do that? Can. Great. Also during the show, some of our animals will be coming really close to you. Would you like that? Yes. Yeah, then you need to listen up. These animals may look cute, they may seem adorable, they may be tempting to touch, but please do not do that. 
Don't worry, Aiza. They are fully trained. Thing is, they only know their trainers. If you touch them, they will not hesitate to let you know how they feel. <laughs> We're talking about sharp claws and teeth. I'm looking forward to a safe and fun show. Are you all feeling the same? Yes. Yeah, then we need to keep our hands to ourselves, okay? The last message is the most important one. We're in the night safari. Animals here are nocturnal, which means they're mainly active at night. They are also highly sensitive to bright lights and sudden flashes. Now, I understand we are here and we want our pictures. We're going to do so in a manner that is safe for the animals. Go ahead and take out your cameras, your handphones, or your recording devices. We need you to turn off the flash and these spotlights. Okay, you're going to have a quick check on them right now if you want to. But then in any case, I'm going to make things a little bit more interesting. I will try to relay this message in a couple of different translations. Let's start firstly with Japan. Any Japanese guests? Okay, wow. Kumbawa. Kumbawa. Flash dummy desk. Arigatou gozaimasu. Anybody from Korea? Korea, annyeonghaseyo. Flash totoro jidmaseyo. Kamsamida. Anybody speaks Mandarin? Mandarin, tacha wang sang hao. Ching puya yong sang kwang teng. Hao pu hao. Hao pu hao. Sia sia ni. Okay, do we have any Malay speaking guests? Malays, where are you? Malays are so shy, I tell you. Ah, this Malay right there. <laughs> no, you're not Malay? No, okay. Malays are tricky to find because you know why? They're so shy. It might be amongst us. There we go, I spotted the group already. Selamat so, malam. Tolong jangan menggunakan flash camera anda. Boleh? Boleh. Kasih, buat susah je. Okay, next up. Any Hindi speaking guests? Ooh, namaste. Namaste, Saplo Apni Camera Kit Flash Bunky GA TK. Shukriya. Anybody speaks Tamil? Tamil? Malay Vanakam? Diver Seda Puge Padam Yerikum Boda Flash Payan Padatadirgal Nandri Vanakam. Alright, any last languages? Come on. Punjabi. Okay, hang on. Tamil and Hindi, that's all. Punjabi, Gujarati, Malayalam. <laughs> Anybody else? Rush. English. You want me to do English? <laughs> okay, then I'll do English. Very good evening, everybody. Please, please remember to turn off the flash on your cameras. But believe me, despite all my translations, we will still see flash going off during the show. If that were to happen, I need your help. If the person is sitting really close to you, gently tap them on their shoulders, remind them to turn off the flash on their cameras. Can we do that for the animals? Can. Awesome. Okay, last question. Are you all ready for the show? Ready. It's Saturday night. We can go louder. I said, are you all ready for the show? Yes. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the creatures of the night will be on the ground. As the night falls, two worlds, one of sunlight, the other moonlight, blend into one. Animals like the tiny banded mongoose search for that last bit of food before heading home to sleep. Digging with his sharp claws, he searches for his favorites. Insects, worms, snails, and even the prize eggs. When satisfied, he will return to his big mongoose family and grow up in a safe burrow for the night. As daytime animals settle down to sleep, the forest comes to life. Hidden amongst the shadows of the forest, nocturnal animals emerge from the dark silhouettes. With a body striped to provide perfect camouflage, a fishy cat 
appears by the riverbank. While this feline loves to swim and dive underwater, he wears a layer of short hair so dense water cannot ah. penetrate, ensuring that it remains warm and dry even in chilly waters. Both fish and cats are rapidly disappearing, and sadly we know very little of them. This silent hunter deserves our protection before it disappears forever. And welcome to the world of the nine predators. I've often been asked, how do nocturnal animals survive? Well, all night creatures have unique adaptation for survival in the forest. For example, the Binturo. Jet black in color, they are almost invisible at night. With their excellent eyesight and quiet ways of moving through the dense forests of Asia, they're able to pounce on small animals easily. But then besides that, binturongs also feed on fruits, fish, and their all-time favorite, birds' eggs. Well, apart from their remarkable eyesight, binturongs also have an amazing sense of smell and hearing, and that makes them one of the most versatile of all nine predators. For now, everybody, let's hear it. A big round of applause for Ted and Shalini. All right, I mentioned earlier, binturongs are animals with an amazing sense of smell. We're not just going to talk about this. We will prove it to you. In order for that to happen, I need the help of a brave young volunteer. Anybody? Okay. Some of you young a long time ago. This is a segment only for children. Okay? All right. Oh, yes. We have a lot. No, no, no. Go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. I'm going to try to be fair. Honey, I'm so sorry. Please head back to your seats. This is what I'm going to do. Sit down. Count of three. I will pick somebody who shouts me the loudest. Go crazy with this one. One, two, three. <laughs> Finally decide. One, two, three! I'm gonna have you. You wanna come over? Come on, big round of applause for the young gentleman, everybody. Oh no, 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 no. Yellow shirt. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Because I picked him, I gotta be fair. You're gonna head back to your seat with a nice souvenir, alright? No, yellow shirt, come up, okay? There we go, finally, the right one. Okay, come here. Don't worry, I don't bite. What's your name? Idai. Idai, where are you from? Nati. What's your name? Ridai. Ridai. Okay, where are you from? You forgot? Maharashtra. Maharashtra, where's that? India, you're from India. Welcome to Singapore. Sorry, I haven't been to India. Okay, now, we're gonna play a game, okay? It's called Hide and Seek. You know how to play that game? Very good. You're going to hide something for me. It's a great. Hang on to it, okay? This is how it goes. Two hands behind your back. You decide which hand you want to hide the grape in. Now, once you've decided, I need you to close both your hands and place them by your side, like that. It's very good. We've hidden the grape. Right now, let's meet a friend who will come and find it. Take a look. Oh. Why? It's okay. Take a look all the way up there. Ready? I've got my friend coming up. We've got Shalini and Ted once again. Watch your way. Ready? Wave hi. Now we know where the grave is. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll hide it again later, okay? Okay, for now, okay. Take a look at my friends. Tell me, which one is Ted and which one is Shalini? Okay, this one here, what's his name? Ted or Shalini? 
They look the same. <laughs> I'll tell you, okay? The big black hairy one on the shoulders, his name is Ted. He is our veteran Binturo. Ted is already 21 years old. Wow. Beautiful lady right here. Her name is Shalini. She's our handler for tonight. Rude, what Ted is going to do, he's going to come really close to you. He will smell your hands, right? Once he thinks that he has found the grape, he will tap your hand. What do you do when Ted taps your hand? You open your hand. Okay? Do you know what will happen if you don't open your hand? <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Okay? We're up here for some fun. Alright, we're gonna come a little bit closer to Ted. And we have a problem because everyone knows where the grape is, so let's hide that grape one more time. Ma'am, you got to turn off your spotlight. Yes, it's on. Thank you. All right, now that you're ready, pop your hands up like that. Very good. Add a challenge. I'm going to cover up his hands. We're ready for you, Ted. He's coming. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Which hand, Ted? <sighs> you think so? Let's see. Oh, yes! Ted has found the three! Come on, Ted! We got it! Everybody once again, Ted and Shalini, well done! <laughs> Why? What's wrong? You gave him a grape, he gave you saliva. What are we gonna do? Wash hands, no, I got a better idea. <laughs> we got nice clean hands. Rene did a great job, what do you think? You deserve a present, right? So on behalf of all of us, Rede, it's your own grade right there. Rede! Rede, no! Come back, come back. I need it for the next show. Now I got something for you. Because you've been such a great assistant, you also get a limited edition Knights of Body Dash. Rede from India. We're going to use this step. So King B say, there you go. All right, now while Pintorans rely on their amazing sense of smell to look for food, other night predators will instead make full use of their cute sense of hearing to search for their prey. Very good example, we are going to talk about the owls. Joining us right now, not one, but two very good-looking owls. The one right up there, his name is Rainbow. He's a great horned owl, native to the Americas. A little bit more vocal, making his way on my left hand side, we've got Midnight, the Buffy Fish Owl. Also referred to as a Malay fish owl, his name is Southeast Asia. In fact, species like him can also be found right here in Singapore. Well, owls have a reputation for being one of the quietest raptor in the world. When I say this, what I mean is when they fly, you will not be able to hear any sound at all. Do you believe me? Yes or no? We have a mix of opinions. Great. We're all in for a little demonstration. This segment. Focus your attention on midnight. Remain seated and please be quiet. Oh, Very nice song. part, midnight. Thank you. The question is, while he was flying, apart from the screeching noise he makes, that noise, do you hear any other sound? No. There we go. No. Silent flyers. Owls have got specialized feathers. Not only are their feathers soft, it will also help them to alter turbulence and absorb noise. Another unique feature when it comes to these birds, they are able to rotate their heads. But then to how many degrees? Any guesses? 360. Any other guesses? 270. Any last guesses? 180. Alright everybody, listen up and listen well. Owls are able to rotate their heads up to... 270 degrees. For those of you who guessed it right, well done. This is possible because we've got as many as 14 neck vertebrae, which is absolutely amazing. On that note, they're going to leave us. Once again, I've got Midnight with Gun. Let's not forget Rainbow with Gold Pick Home. Thank you, guys. Now, from Kings of the Skies, we're going to move on to meet up with some of Africa's most fascinating carnivores. Before that, once again, a few gentle reminders. Please remain seated. Above all, no flash photography. A famed scavenger of the African continent, our next animal possesses a keen sense of smell. 
allowing it to detect a carcass from miles and miles away. This here is the sported hyena, largest of all hyena species in the world. Well, hyenas are known for the powerful set of jaws which could crush even the bones of elephants. Besides that, they are also equipped with a powerful digestive system, enabling them to digest the skin, bones, teeth, and even the hooves of their prey. Lastly, because of their dog-like features, many would assume that hyenas belong to the canine family. Surprisingly, however, they are much more closely related to the cat. Oh, I've been the cat cat cat. Well, speaking of cats, we will soon be meeting the slender bill serval. The reason why it's called the slender bill serval is because of its slender bill four paws. This you will see in just a bit. They do, in fact, resemble miniature cheetahs, except for their relatively shorter tail and smaller size. For now, keep your eyes blind into the exhibit. We are expecting a very, very beautiful lady. Here she comes. Hey. Beautiful lady. Oh, a beautiful man. Where's my lady? She's coming. Okay. Once again, everybody, keep your eyes into the exhibit. She should be arriving shortly. And there she is. Her name is Cash, and she is our slender built Saho. You will notice she's got a pair of really slender forepaws allowing her not just to dig deep into the ground but also into really tight holes to search for food. Might incite you to know servals can leap 10 to 15 feet off the ground to catch low flying birds that are slow for takeoff. Well keep your eyes on cash. If we are lucky she will be showing us just how high this feline can go. Eyes on the prize cash. There we go. Give it up for Cash, everybody. Cash, that was stunning. Thank you. Oh, I hope you had a good look at the cat because then you probably would notice my absolutely favorite feature when it comes to the servals. I am in love with their ears. Did you know they possess the biggest pair of ears as compared to any other cats, allowing them a sophisticated sense of... How did this happen? How did this happen? Okay, first we bring the lights up. Okay, um, I'm sorry, we have an emergency. Children, remain seated, okay? Parents with kids, hang on tight to them. We have an animal in the sitting area right now. You know what, look at your feet. You see anything moving, call on me, okay? Oh, Shalini, where are you? Yes, you need to run faster than the thing. That's how you catch it. Come on. She's trying her best, poor girl. Okay, no problems, just a mongoose. No. <laughs> Chalini? Can I get help? Two people. Uh, two people from Mongoose? Okay, you know what, if you insist. Can I have two volunteers, please? Above 18 years old, I'm sorry. So I'll have you coming down. Let's have the lady, ladies, lady, 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 lady. Ma'am, you, leave your baby behind. Join me up on stage, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Chalini, we are coming. Ready? Going to the dock. Okay, you ready? Come on, mommy, run all the way in. All right, in, in, in. <laughs> okay, now normally it takes only one of us to handle a mongoose. No, don't cry, mommy will come back. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we have to go get mommy back. Shalini, she has a baby. The baby's crying, where are you guys? Hello, pastor. Oh. This is not going to help at all. We found our escape artist. Please don't cry. You're going to love it. Her name is Maggie. And she is our bonus python. <laughs> Mommy's holding a snake. <laughs> all right, everybody. A big round of applause for my brave volunteers. They are carrying the fifth largest species of python in the world, you know. Guys, have fun with this. Relax. Very difficult to relax, just try it, okay? Alright, have fun with this. Open up your palm, you squeeze the snake, it will squeeze you back. 
Burmese pythons are native to Southeast Asia. This one here is not fully grown just yet. A fully grown Burmese python, 9 meters long, could stretch. 9 meters long, as mentioned, could weigh more than 90 kilograms. Pop focus, crying, okay. Let's get to know you. What's your name? Ali Ahmad. Ali Ahmad, where are yeah, you from? Pakistan. You're from Pakistan? Great. Welcome to Singapore. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you carry the snake. Free this hand. Just one hand, just one hand. Just one carry. That hand, feel the snake. Uh -huh. Do you like it? No, no, focus back to Yan. Do you like it? You want to know why? She's a girl, Ali. Now you stop stroking her so much, okay, Carrie? Tell everybody, is she wet and slimy or is she smooth and dry? Smooth and dry. Exactly. The only reason why a snake would appear wet is because of light glistening off the scales. That's exactly how they get this beautiful glossy sheen. The baby likes you more than the daddy. That's obvious. What's your name? Celeste. Celeste, where are you from? Singapore. You're from Singapore. And you know what? She's a super mom. We give her a treat. Show her. <laughs> Come back, come back. We have to return her safely. Okay, so let's, my question to you, look at the head. How many times as compared to the size of this head do you think she can open her mouth to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So let's, snake, not dinosaur. Okay, I help you a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Three. Say five. <laughs> Correct answer, Celeste. A snake can open his mouth up to five times the size of his head, so we're gonna find out. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, Celeste. Perfect fit. But uh, before you guys get too excited, no live feedings on show, okay? Sorry to disappoint. What we do, we take pictures, everybody. Cameras out, flashes off, go ahead and take your shots. You're gonna post this on Instagram. Remember to hashtag Night Safari Singapore. We're very vain girls. We check our pictures out every night. <laughs> okay, got it? Alright, over to that side. Ali and Celeste, smile. And go photo. <laughs> Alright, now I mentioned this thing is not fully grown, but already as it is, she's about 30 kilograms, quite a handful still. My handlers are going to take over, allow them to... Alright, I'm not done with you. Stay right here with me, alright? Once again, Fiona, we've got Kenzie, and that is Maggie, our beautiful Burmese python. Ariamat, Celeste, you went into the dark, you came up with a big snake. I would have to say you handle her very well. I think you guys deserve a present too, so choose, batch or great. Batch, of course, there you go, that's for you, Ali. Celeste, that's for you. A big round of applause for Pakistan and Singapore. Mark is coming back. <laughs> It, okay, mommy's boy right there. All right, now I think we'll all agree the Burmese python would have to be amongst the most beautiful species of all love. Hey, he does that sometimes. Well, he is my absolute favorite. Do you like him? I love him. His name is Toffee. He's our common raccoon. Species like him are native to Central and South America. A lot of us are more familiar with raccoons that are brown, gray, black, or red. Tonight we have a look. They also come in beautiful shades of cream. Hi, nice to see you. This big bum bum. <laughs> well, he's not an albino animal. Albino animals have got red eyes. So take a look at the handsome face. You will notice Toffee has got beautiful brown eyes. Just like Binturong's raccoons have an excellent sense of smell. Hello. Excuse me. Oi. I have this effect on boys, it seems. They always run away. <laughs> but his appearance gives me a very good opportunity to address a pressing matter. Raccoons are excellent example of wildlife that are highly affected by human urbanization and development. Every single year we take out a little bit more of the natural habitat. So naturally, that hack is then to our turf. Let's find out what the boys found in the bin tonight. They're pretty normal stuff. We've got some plastic bottles, a pair of cans, and a paper cup. All these things could be thrown away, but the better still, we could do the environment a favor. We could re... Cycle. We could recycle, that's right. Let's say it a little bit rather. We could re... There we go, we could recycle. I'm super excited about this segment. All timings are well done. Because we've got a pair of sisters. They're not only young, they are the smallest of their kind. They're going to show us how it's done. Take a look over to the left-hand side. Joining us in just a bit, everybody. We're going to have the Asian 
small plot 